Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Alright friends, it has been a morning, so I am just going to relax and enjoy the rest of this day. I have now seen this on a couple different channels, but most recently on, I think it's Life with Two Orchids. I will leave that video linked down below for all of you, but I've seen them do like simmer pots of different things and I really am curious to see if it will really make my house smell good. So I have some clementines. I'm gonna add four slices of clementine. I also have some Fraser fir sprigs that I'm gonna put in here. So we'll do the Fraser fir. I'm gonna put the clementines in. I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. I'm also going to add some ground clove. I couldn't find whole cloves, so we're gonna go with ground. And just a few cranberries. Don't know if they will make any difference in the world, but it looks festive. And we're gonna let this simmer. And we're gonna see like if I can actually smell it. And I will report back. I have my doubts if it will actually work. It looks really good. All right, we're gonna let this go for the day and see what happens. We are outside, and the reason we're outside is because we've cleared everything out of our back. We've cut down all of our beds. I've cleaned them all out for the winter. So there's not a lot of interest out here, but I left this planter because at the time it had been doing really well. Clearly it's not now. I had some Dusty Miller in here. I had some kale. It's pretty frozen, but I'm thinking I could probably still break it up pretty well. I'm gonna clean out this, and I went ahead and picked up a bunch of new stuff. All right, I'm in luck. The top was pretty frozen, but once I broke down through there, to really loosen it up. The bundles that I bought for this, like I said, I always go down to my local greenhouse. I got some really beautiful cedar. I also got some juniper berries. I got two bundles of Fraser fir. And then I got these willow sticks. When I'm going to do any arrangement, I start with my highest piece first. Then I usually have something with a little bit more structure, which will be the pine. And these juniper berries are pretty structured as well. And then lastly, I go in with whatever I can drape, which is the cedar. So I'm gonna get these willowed branches cut down a little bit and centered as like my height or focal point of the arrangement. I went in first with my height, and now this really gives me a lot of structure into my arrangement. And I'm going to work on one side and then the other. So I put one that side. So now to balance that out, I'm gonna put one on this side. Actually gonna do one down the center here as well. Oh, this smells so good. I'm making sure to leave some space though for my juniper. And with my cedar, I won't need a ton of room. Just embed it. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. I'm just grabbing my cedar. Now this is the item that I bought for draping. So I am gonna have to cut this down more than some of the other things. But what's great about this, I'm gonna cut these off by individual stems. And what you're gonna see is I'm gonna put them in at an angle. I'm gonna have these hanging. over the edges. I wanna make sure that this side feels just as full 
and balanced is the other side. The last thing I'm going to do is treat them with some wilt stuff. I'm just gonna give them a nice little spray. I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm just gonna make sure I spray up under them. This stuff smells terrible, just so you know. You can buy this at your garden center. You can also buy it on Amazon. I will leave it linked below so you get the right one. Also, for reference, this arrangement did cost about $30 to do, but it will probably last most of the winter. And it is really large and beautiful. I hope you guys got some tips and tricks there. So, something tall for the center, then things for structure for fullness, then something that drapes. That's kind of my motto. And I usually work in fours, so one tall thing, two structures, one drape. This is beautiful. I'm thrilled with it. Another thing that happened was I made some changes to the tree. Looking at it, A, it looks gorgeous. I think what I did made a huge difference. So I took off about 25 ornaments and all of the picks, and then, can you see what I added? I hand tied all of these ribbons, the green ones, onto the tree. And then I also added these jingle bells that I had that were a lot of gold to the perimeter. I think it looks stunning. With the candles and the green ribbon out, it adds such a traditional feel. It just looks beautiful. Actually, I think now this has become my favorite tree. You didn't even notice that I changed the tree. I did see that you changed the tree. It's just I can't comment every time you change the tree. Otherwise, I would have no time for myself. <laughs> Do you like it? It's nice. It looks really beautiful. It looked beautiful before. And then here is the planter. You can see it. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. Today's advent of kindness was to send gratitude emails to educators in your life. So last night on Instagram, I had posted, if you sent me your email address, that I was going to do my best and get to as many as I could. I sent a little over 200 emails since last night to teachers across the country and some across the pond. Uh, it was really, really great. and. Educators are just working so hard and no one's ever done this before and it was important to acknowledge that. So thank you for what you're doing. We love you. You know that I truly believe in making things really aesthetically pleasing. So yes, I set everything up beautifully before I got started. One for a photo, but truly for me, I really like to see nice things out. It makes the experience a little bit better. We are making my grandmother's sand tarts. Here's the deal, I thought I had the recipe, but I didn't, so my mom was nice enough and sent me my grandmother's original sand tart recipe. So the thing that we're starting with, we're only gonna make a half recipe, are two sticks of oleo and one and a half cups of sugar. I'm gonna get that creamed together first. I have the two sticks of butter, the one and a half cups of sugar, and I have two eggs. And now I'm going to add a quarter cup of milk. It just says vanilla, not a specific amount, but vanilla. So I'm gonna add some vanilla to that. One teaspoon of baking powder. Now, while this is mixing, I'm going to add four cups of flour. Hello? Hey, Mama. <laughs> I couldn't find the phone. <laughs> so I'm deep into sand tart making. Yeah. Mom, should I chill this dough before I roll it out and cut it? Grandma doesn't say. If, if it feels a little sticky, I'd chill it for a little bit. It doesn't feel that sticky. Well, then go ahead and roll it out. I mean, I have Grandma a... Used to, 
family used to kill her sometimes. It was because she didn't bake them all at the same time, like the same day. Well, this she is just, I just did the half batch. recipe, so like, I'm just gonna, I feel like if I put a, I feel like if I put a little flour, although if I cut them out with a cookie cutter, I'd, maybe it is a little sticky. I put it in the fridge just for like an hour. And then roll them out and then put your cutter in flour. Well, you're gonna have to flour your board or whatever you're rolling it out. Yeah. On. And then um, dip your cookie cutter in flour to cut it so it don't stick. Okay. And then roll, roll them pretty thin, honey. All right, I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> and then uh, the, the walnuts. If you're putting a nut on them, it goes in after. Are you putting brown sugar, or cinnamon, and sugar on it? Yes, or? but that she wrote that that goes on what before you cook it. Yeah, but Pap always used to put the nuts on, so that's how I know they go on after. Okay. All right, I'm gonna wrap this in saran wrap. Just an hour, you think, Mom? Yeah, an hour is probably good enough, honey. Okay. All right. All right. I'll let you know. Okay. I love you. All right. I love you too. All right. Bye-bye. So you heard it. I just wrapped this in saran wrap. I'm going to throw it in the uh, refrigerator for an hour because today actually gives Stephen and I a little bit of time. We already, I'll show you, tomorrow is donations. So Steven and I already filled the back of his car with books and clothes for donation and some shoes. So we have that all set to go for tomorrow. So day seven is done. The dough is chilling. We'll roll these out. We'll start cutting them. We'll bake them off. Dinner is already done. The chili is still simmering. And what do I think of this? Did it work? I mean, I definitely can smell it. Maybe I've gotten a lot more used to it, but um, yeah, I could smell it. I enjoyed it. I might actually go ahead and throw a couple lemons and oranges in there again and like rejuvenate it a bit. Just watching Alex from Learning to Be Fearless. I've been able to actually talk to her a couple times now. She is so lovely and so kind. While I was watching, I just sprayed all of my garlands. I try to spray them every other day. Even though they were treated with um, wilt stop, I still like to keep them wet. That really does help keep the needles. And in all honesty, I've had really minimal needle dropping. And then I did do these garlands too. They're sprayed down. Oh, I'm so happy with the tree. My mom told me I needed to roll these out thin. It's rolling beautifully. It does feel, just so you guys know, it feels pretty loose. I don't know if that's correct. some of these little men. Washes on. Oh my gosh, these are starting to look like hers. Okay. And then I'm gonna sprinkle with some sugar. My Grandma's recipe did not have any baking instructions, so we're gonna put them in and just keep an eye on them. What'd you say, 375? What, Mom? 375. Uh, the recipe you sent me said 350. Oh, 350, okay. This one thing here says six to eight minutes. All right, I set it for six. Okay. You, they'll, they'll start to get a little brown around the edge. Okay. So probably six to eight minutes. Be All right. good. All right, I'm, I have like three sheets going, so I'm gonna hop off here, but I'll call you guys back okay. a little later. All right. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness, it's going on five, and I haven't even started editing yet. So the cookies are done. They look amazing. First of all, this platter, is from the new Williams Sonoma Grinch line. It's super cute. But I'm just going to get my thumbnail photo taken. 
So I'm just adding these cookies to this platter for a picture. The chili is already done, which is such a relief to have that already finished. Just gonna stack these up. I think that's what I'm gonna do for the photo. Perfect. All right, friends, it is five o'clock. I've not even started editing this. I promise we'll do the other advent calendars tomorrow, but I need to get this edited so I can have some rest this evening, and I really wanna enjoy the Dolly Parton special tonight, so I'm gonna work on this right now. But I'm gonna end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others. Be kind, kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye.